Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Candace Sinclair. And if you like fashion hauls, lookbooks, how to style videos, hair, hair reviews, wig reviews, product reviews, makeup tutorials, if you like any of that, you should definitely consider subscribing to my channel by hitting the subscribe button somewhere on the screen. <laughs> and you should also put on your bell notification so that you know whenever I upload because YouTube sometimes likes to be a hater but we're not gonna talk about that right now so in today's video i'm actually gonna be doing a product review and the products i'm reviewing are actually from shea moisture now correct me if i'm wrong but didn't we like cancel shea moisture or like they canceled them a while ago i don't know why like i can't keep up with our cancellations but anywho i can't remember so i'm gonna be viewing <laughs> Um, these two products from Shea Moisture. So Shea Moisture has actually started a wig and weave collection, a line of products. So the products are actually made for wigs and weaves. And there's various different products. There's like a mousse, a detangler. I think there's like a shampoo of some sort. But I decided that I want to try the bonding glue. And I also wanted to give the bond release spray a try. They, of course, as per usual, Shea Moisture is all about on natural, chemical free products, so on and so forth. So, um, this bonding glue and the spray, they're both made with tea tree oil, barrage seed oil, and aloe vera. And um, they don't have any parabens, no sulfates, no mineral oil. Um, it's also cruelty free, so no testing on animals. So, those are key things to know about this um, product. And the same goes with the Bond Release Spray contains these same ingredients. You know what's funny is that I actually did this review earlier this week, but the file is corrupted. So I'm filming this all over again. So I already know how I feel about these products, but you, you right there, you're going to have to stick around until the end of the video to find out how I feel about these products and whether I feel like you should go and copy products or not. So. Let's just go ahead and hop into it because I'm going to show you how I apply it and take it off. So, without further ado, let go. Okay, so I am, I moved y'all up a little bit closer so that you can see a little bit better. So I'm going to take the glue and I am going to, I'm just going to apply it just how I do. Um, got to be glue. So what I do, I usually do two layers of got to be. This is the consistency of it if you can see it's like thick and slimy so it looks kind of gross but nonetheless claim that it's going to dry clear so whenever I do um, got to be glue I dry it or get it tacky with a blow dryer and they say you can do that but um, you have to use cool uh, air instead of like blasting hot air which I don't, but yeah, they specifically said to use cool air, so that's what I'll be using. So I'm gonna add a, another layer. It's getting tacky, <laughs> which is a good thing. So it is pretty much acting just like got to be. Okay, so now that the wig, I'm not the wig, <laughs> the glue is pretty tacky, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my wig. I'm gonna be uh, putting on the Butter Lace Unit 3 from Sensational. I've already done a review on this wig, so the wig is already customized. I just have to, you know, <laughs> put the thing on my head and make sure. I'm gonna clean up the glue later after I finish applying the wig. So y'all already know I have a big AF head, so I don't usually glue down the sides because literally my head is huge and the wigs never come down to my edges, it's so sad. But yeah, so I can only like, I can pretty much only wear wigs like a closure. It's so annoying, but you know, it is what it is. So 
now that I have it glued on, I'll see it's coming up. So I think I'm gonna have to do another layer. This, <laughs> this stuff can definitely get messy. It's so like gooey and slimy. So, and I will also say it does take a minute for the glue to dry. I guess because it's water-based, that's why it takes so long to dry, but yeah, I don't know if I'll be reaching for this wig glue if I'm in a hurry. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so, um, I really, look, I believe in giving products a fair chance, so I'm gonna try it again, because that first application was an epic fail. So, once again. <laughs> Let's try this again, and we will lift. Put that bad boy down. I'm gonna go ahead and sp spray it with got to be. let the glue and all that marinate for a second that's why I have this scarf tied around my head so now I'm gonna take it down and see if that <laughs> made a difference so uh, I don't know I really don't know I'm gonna save my thoughts about the glue later, but I am going to use the wig and weave bond release spray later. I actually am gonna go run some errands and I'll come back and um, use the spray. I did have to use a baby hair or toddler hair, kinda in my case, to <laughs> hide the lace lifting up. So hopefully it will not give out on me while I am going out and about to do what I need to do. Hmm. So anyway, I will come back and we will continue with this review. Okay, so now it is later and I'm going to use the Bond Release Spray. So the Bond Release Spray is supposed to help get the glue up and help, your, help you take the wig off. So it says to saturate a cotton swab or not swab like a cotton pad or a makeup applicator but I don't have neither of those so I'm just gonna use a rag um spritz it on there oh it kind of foams a little bit as you spray it then I say you know to work it in to the hairline for about a minute to get it to come up that's what I'm going to do Put some more. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's coming. And boom. Okay, so that didn't take as nearly as long as the application. What are my final thoughts about these products? So the glue, I'm sorry y'all, but the glue is a miss. Like the glue, the, the bond is not strong enough. When I put it on, I did twice. I did two layers. All the I followed the instructions, and the, the lace was still lifting. So I definitely think you can save $9.99 <laughs> on that glue because it's not worth it. Go get yourself a Zaxby meal or something, because girl, it's not. It was not it at all. Now, as in terms of the Bond Release Spray, like I don't think it's a bad product, but I do think it's unnecessary. I don't think you need a release spray to take glue off of your head. Um, water works just fine. 
all in all, <laughs> I think you can skip out on both of these products. I don't think I recommend them. I think, you know, the goal was really admirable, but the execution just wasn't there. So, yeah, I'm sad. I wish that it worked because it definitely would have been better for my edges than got to be, but it's just not hidden so anyway give this video a thumbs up if you want to see me do more product reviews in the future also i meant to say if you have used this product let me know what your thoughts about it are down below in the comments if you haven't tried this product are you going to try the product let me know also in the comments down below but yeah until next time i will see you guys later bye